I've spent more time with him than anybody else ever. Yeah. And, and I expect him to drop by tomorrow like he does on Sundays and see what's up. Four colleagues and a pilot have been identified as the five people killed in a plane crash at Pahokee Friday near the shore of Lake Okeechobee. Tonight we are learning about their local ties and the families they leave behind. Megan McRoberts is live in Stewart tonight with more on their common bond. Megan. John and Tiny, we've confirmed tonight that four of those five victims were attorneys here for the Peterson Bernard law firm and a family member of one of the victims telling me that they were visiting a client in the Tampa area before boarding that twin engine Piper trying to come back home. These are the five people from our community killed in a plane crash near the shore of Lake Okeechobee Friday afternoon. The pilot, Eduardo Moulet from West Palm Beach, a founder of the Peterson Bernard Law Firm, Eric Peterson, and attorneys Matthew Fiorello from Gardens, Heather Bridwell of Jupiter, and Edwin Mortel III from Stewart. Mortel's brother, Michael Mortel, is the city attorney in Stewart. I mean, as I'm standing here right now, it's so surreal. Mortel says he's learning some details about the moments leading up to the crash. This flight tracker shows the plane departing from Tampa with a flight plan to land in North Palm Beach marked by the F-45. You see the plane stays on track until it's west of the lake. Mortel says one of the attorneys on the flight texted their wife. Told his wife that they had been diverted to Pahokee because they had plane trouble. The plane then appears to head back on the original path. They were originally directed to come to Pahokee, and then as they got close, they decided they were going to go, I guess, to North Palm or the rest of the flight, but for some reason they turned around and came back to Pahokee. The plane dropping altitude when the line turns white, crashing about 400 yards from the shore, according to investigators. You see these things on the news, and of course it can never happen to your family, and that's exactly what happened to me yesterday. Mortel says his brother and his brother's wife were empty nesters with three grown children. Just moved to a new house. Their life was ahead of them. All, everything was in order. She just, they had it all. It was just the way they wanted it. And it just got stolen from her last night out of nowhere. Moulette was married. Fiorello, also a musician, a husband and a dad, according to the Palm Beach Post. And Bridwell, an avid boater with a husband and a daughter. Peterson even once gave Mortel a job. You know, every one of my, everyone in my family's life has changed forever. And we know it still could be about 10 days before the NTSB releases its preliminary investigative report. Reporting live tonight, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.